Hey, design friends, on today's video, we're going to cover this really great portfolio that was built in Webflow. And we're going to talk about what makes this a great portfolio. We're going to talk about all the cool features and interaction that were added using Webflow's features. We're also going to cover how this looks like on mobile because you're always asking if this looks great on mobile as well. So we're going to cover this. Let's get started. So the website that we're covering today is called Design Base, and this is a design agency based in Germany. Let's get started seeing the structure structure before we're starting break it down. So we have the hero here explaining what they're doing. And then we have basically an about section uh, They can open up an about page. Then we have basically this strip that says discover design develop basically their process, then they're showing us their work portfolio and cases. So they're showing us three works and a bunch of logos. And if you want to see case studies, you can go into a cases page, then we have process, which is basically a few sections talking about, you know, how they're building websites, then what kind of solutions they're, they're having. So like three different things. Um, and then they're also offering if you already have a design, they'll just do the Webflow build, let's talk. And so finishing up with a call to action, let's talk about this and a footer. So this is the structure of the homepage. Now what makes this such a powerful and effective portfolio? First of all, right here at the beginning, they have a very, very clear value proposition, what they're doing, and who they are doing it for. So they are building scalable website, this is something very specific. If you are a fast growing startup, you want to know that your website is going to be able to grow alongside with you and scaling, you're not going to have to rebuild your website every year. And so this is specifically talking to a problem of fast growing startups that they have that you know, they have to rebuild their website every single year because it can't scale together with them. And they're talking about a specific solution to them. So they're very clear about who is this for and what problem we're solving for them. So this is a great way to begin and set themselves apart uh, from all the other design agencies out there. Then note that they're not speaking specifically about Webflow because maybe clients don't necessarily care about that. Then they'll later explain why Webflow might be a solution for this. Then they're talking about themselves. We partner with content driven tech startups, make them independent of their IT and empower them with future proof scalable website. Again, they're saying about us, but actually they're talking about their customers because they say who they are and how they help them to achieve what they're trying to achieve, which is again, to have the freedom from IT and empowerment for future proofing their website. So they're talking again about the problems of their clients, which I think is really great copy. Then again, very, uh, very, very uh, nicely and clearly with just three words that they turned into like nicely designed strips, they're basically telling you already what services they offer, which is great. And then work very, very succinct, right? Just three images right at the top, you don't have to look too much. They're not just like poorly designed screenshots on the screen, because they put them on a nice little background with a little drop shadow. So there's with like, matching colors. So there is a nice art direction and nice presentation here. And that's you can see it all in just one section. Also along some very famous logos that you all know, probably at least Mercedes Benz and Audi and Vodafone. So like very big companies. So already, this section builds a lot of trust, you can see the quality of their work. And again, there's not too much text, right, you can hover on top of it. And they they'll tell you what the client name is what their section is, and what they did for them. So here it's just Webflow CMS here UI design and Webflow CMS. But not too much text. Remember, people don't like to read too much. Even the text that we have here, like not too much, just one paragraph of big type, very, very easy to people to consume very, very fast, too many people write too much text on their portfolio. So this is really, really great process. Again, not too much text, one paragraph with some nice illustration to cover the process that they're going through and then solutions. Um, and again, that's it finishing up with a strong call to action. I think this is a fantastic structure for again, busy startups, very clear who the who the persona that they're trying to help with and why. Now let's talk about all the very cool uh, web flow and interaction and cool things that they're doing here. First of all, they're using a lot of kind of like the mouse interaction with this kind of, a, you know, a blend mode that makes it negative. I've seen this, this is super trendy right now. And I've seen this on a lot of um, on a lot of websites, and they're doing it pretty well. Also very nice kind of micro interaction about the buttons. Note how the text is like, 
jumping about and then circling. This is really, really nice. I can imagine this is probably a Lodi animation that they've made in After Effects, exported and uh, brought it back in. Um, and it looks really, really great. Um, also here, very, very nice minor interaction. Let's check out the menu that we have here. So really nice, kind of like I'm a sucker for these gradients. Uh, and we've seen also this hover that opens up an image. We've seen this very trendy on lots of, you know, award-winning websites. And they've implemented this trendy thing very nicely, not too, not too much of a reference. Uh, usually a lot of people do this on the portfolio, but this is really nice the way that they've structured this. Um, so really nice open animation. Also here, I like how they created, they took this pattern of, type animation that kind of reveals itself from out of the mask. And they've used this again and again. Here they're using a different mask, which is kind of like a circle that's growing. Also very, very easy to do this masking animation and tie it into a scroll position with Webflow, but it's just original thinking. And I love how people use Webflow's feature, which are actually pretty simple features, but they use them in an original way and that creates some really, really great effect. Here also we have these, thinks that you know the movement of these strips very very easy tied into the pos scroll position but it looks really really nice um so again as i said they're using repeating the uh, revealing of text from out of a mask um, animation again and again. And I think this is really nice. If you're designing a website and you choose some kind of an interaction, you repeat itself. You don't have to reinvent the interaction with every section that you're creating. Uh, you repeat the concept and that creates kind of consistency throughout your website. So I think that looks really, really nice. Let's check how to see how this website looks like on mobile. So let's reload this. Um, actually looks pretty, pretty solid. Most interactions work, but you know, because on mobile we don't have the hover animation, you can see here that the text is already visible. A lot of people don't remember that on mobile we don't have the hover state. So everything needs to be visible. So the text here on the button, more about us, is already visible. Um, the, the stuff that we had to hover on desktop, like the name of the clients here, are already you know, shown on mobile, which makes it, you know, great for usability and stuff like that. Um, and basically, I think most of the website looks just the same. Even most of the interactions work just the same. Here, we don't have the hover animation, but it still looks great. So I think overall, the website, everything looks fantastic on mobile as well. So, and this just proves to you that even if you're using a lot of cool and fancy animation and interaction, doesn't mean that your website is not gonna translate well on desktop. And I, I love this website. I'm sure you can use a lot of these ideas on your portfolio as well. Let me know what you thought about this website and also post your link to your portfolio if you want us to review your portfolio on the channel. Make sure to subscribe for more design videos and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.